I've got news and they are not the best. So, long story short, the terrarium is full of pests and I have no idea where they come from. The biggest problem is that the terrarium is really heavy and made of glass, obviously. Well, I cannot just take it outside and spray it with chemicals and everything to get rid of the pests. I spend a lot of time in here. I don't really like using harsh chemicals on my plants. So I am going to try and make a neem oil solution and treat the terrarium and the other plants with this solution. I believe that this is my best choice since I cannot move everything outside and the garden will also get a lot of pests if I do this. So I think that this is my only option. Of course, when you are using solutions like this one, you can't actually be expecting like getting rid of them in just a second or a day something like that. You can't have these kind of expectations. You should repeat the process for multiple days in a row so you can actually have results. And I am going to use the spraying method so if I miss a spot, well there they can multiply. But I am going to do my best and drench that thing. First of all, let's make the solution. In order to make this kind of bio-pest killer, we will need, first of all, 100% pure neem oil. We want this to be pure. Then we need, of course, warm water, and I say warm and not, for example, room temperature or cold water, because the neem oil will get solid if the water is cold, so warm water will help us keep this little thing liquid. Then for some extra strength we will need a little bit of this soap, I would say about two, three or four drops. Of course we will need a spray bottle. I will use this one because it is stylish, you can use a plastic one. I really like to use glass sprayers for this thing because then you can clean them better. And because the problem is mainly in the terrarium, I will use this cling film so we can just cover it and keep everything inside so they will die and suffocate in there without them having any chance of escaping. That was dark. <laughs> And also a spoon to measure the neem oil. Let's make this. Hope that you don't mind the light reflections. First of all, we are going to add the water. Half liter would be the best. This container though is not that big. So I will use the measurements by half. That's it for the dish soap. Let's go ahead and add the neem oil. 100% pure neem oil. Just a little of oil at a teaspoon. Also, if you haven't used neem oil before, this thing has a really bad smell. Okay, now, sake time, sick, 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 sick. The smell of this thing is horrible, horrible. Anyway, let's just sake it, sake it well, you know, oil and water can't be one. Sake, 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 sake it really, really well, we want them to, you know, get mixed. And let's just spray. So here is this little pour thing. What I am going to do is just put everything inside and spray like crazy. So I'm going to put everything inside.
And now I am just going to add the cling film. And now I am going to leave it as it is. I am going to open here from time to time to respray and water and everything, but let's hope that it will work. So that's it for now. I am going to update you in the following days with a community post to tell you how it is going, if it is working or not. If it doesn't, I will have to find another more harsh way to get rid of them. And I will leave you with this. I did not break the spider plant here, even though it is tall. It is quite flexible, so it can survive my disaster.